Oh, hello again. Take off. Now that we've cleared the Olasar landing pad, let's go over some basic flight controls. As mentioned in the last video, W increases throttle and sets your ship's forward speed. S decreases throttle and slows the ship down. To pitch your ship's nose up or down, move the mouse up or down on the Y axis. To perform a yaw motion with your ship, move the nose of your ship left and right, move your mouse left and right along the X axis. To roll your ship, press and hold Q to roll left and E to roll right. Your ship also has strafe controls for translation motion in any desired direction. To strafe upward, press and hold the space bar. To strafe down, press and hold the control key. To strafe backwards, press the number three on your keyboard. To strafe forward, press the number two. To strafe to the left, press and hold down the A key. To strafe to the right, press and hold down the D key. Remember, when using a keyboard, these movements will engage with maximum speed at maximum thrust. So tapping the keys may prove more beneficial in certain situations. While we're out here, let's quickly go over your ship's MFDs, or as mentioned before, multifunctional displays. MFDs allow you to manually manage your performance of the ship and its components. While tweaking these options can add nuance to your experience, flying your ship in its default configuration will work just fine. To view your MFDs, activate the interaction mode using the F key, and you can zoom in on specific MFDs using the scroll wheel on your mouse. First, we have the heat menu, which shows us how much heat is being generated by a system or item, with the option to suppress heat generation in exchange for performance. Next is the self status menu, which tells us how our own ship is faring. The following MFD menu is shields, which allows you to allocate a particular shield face with more power if needed, and a slider to define the overall usage of shields. Next is the weapons menu, which shows off the amount of power allocated to weapons and the number of missiles available to use. The power menu defines the amount of energy produced by the power plant and how much energy can be used by the shields and weapons. The target status menu lets us know, well, the status of whatever ship or entity we're currently targeting, but we'll go over that a little later. Then there's the comms menu. Generally used when near a populated point of interest, comms allow you to contact air traffic control towers for landing permissions, as well as chatter with other pilots. Let's head back to Olasar and request permission to land, shall we? I think we shall. As we approach Olasar, we'll use that trusty F key to interact with the comms menu. You'll see Port Olasar Landing Services is an option. Call them by left-clicking on this little icon. The friendly folks at OLS will tell you to proceed to the designated landing pad, which will be marked on your HUD with this little wrench icon. Maneuver your ship to the right pad. Make sure to deploy your landing gear with N before landing. You're almost there. Position yourself over the landing pad and use the control key to set her down. Easy now. Well, oh, there you go. Perfect plan. In the next video, we'll go over how quantum travel works and start exploring the moons of Crusader. Excited? I know I am. Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.